Who doesn't love a loaf of fresh baked bread right out of the oven? Today, we are making easy French bread. This is probably the most popular bread recipe on my blog, and it is the one I make over and over again. Now, my favorite thing about this recipe is really how easy it is and how quickly it comes together. Now, it's not quite as quick as my 30-minute rolls, which you can click right up there and get that recipe, but it's pretty darn close. And I've got a secret to share with you that makes this bread crusty on the outside and nice and soft on the inside. It's easy, delicious, picky eater proof, and the entire family is gonna love it. Let's get started. Now this recipe will make one large loaf of bread or because of our reduced size family, I like to make two smaller loaves. It gives us one to enjoy and one to share with someone else. Now we are going to use my stand mixer to make this bread, but you, if you don't have one, you could totally do it by hand. It just takes a little muscle. Now the first step of bread making is we need to proof our yeast. I am using dry active yeast. Now, if you wanna use rapid rise yeast, you can use that too. The difference is with the rapid yeast, you don't have to proof it. You don't have to add it to the water first. You can add it directly in with the flour. But I'm using dry active yeast and so I need to proof it, which means I need to add it to some warm water. And I'm gonna take a quarter cup of warm water. Now here's the trick and probably the hardest part of making bread. And if you haven't made much bread before, this is where you can get tripped up. You, want, you need to make sure that your water is the right temperature. I like to have it between 105 and 115 degrees. Now, I can do it by touch because I've made bread so much. But if you're new to bread making, check your temperature of your water with a thermometer. This is a meat thermometer. You can use a candy thermometer. But basically, it's a nice warm baby's bath temperature of water. So we're going to add our quarter cup of warm water into our bowl. We're gonna add in our dry active yeast, and this is one packet of yeast or two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. We're gonna add that into our water. I'm gonna just grab a spoon. We're gonna just give it a little swish. Then we're gonna add in some sugar, and we're gonna let it proof. That was a teaspoon of sugar. To help our yeast proof a little faster, I just like to take a towel put it over the top, you can use a plate over the top, something just to help create a nice warm environment. Depending on the temperature of your house will depend on how long the yeast takes to proof, anywhere from five to 10 minutes or so. But you just want it to be nice and bubbly. Then into our yeast, we are going to add a tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, a cup and two tablespoons of warm water. You wanna make sure this water is about the same temperature as your other water was. And then we're going to add four cups of purpose flour. We're going to use the dough hook on our stand mixer and we're going to knead up our dough. You're going to want to knead it for about five minutes or so till it is nice and soft and smooth. It's been about five minutes. Our dough is nice and soft and smooth. We're going to now pick it on out, put it on our counter. And I just kind of like to give it a couple of kneads with my hand a little bit. Add just a little bit of flour to your counter to help the dough from sticking and just use the palm of your hand to give it a few kneads. Now, at this point, if you're gonna make one loaf of bread, you can just roll it out from here. But because I'm making two, I'm gonna take my little bench scraper, divide my dough in half, and then I'm gonna flour a little bit more and take my a rolling pin and I'm gonna roll it out just into a flat rectangle. The rectangle is probably about oh, six by eight, six by nine, it doesn't really matter. Just roll it out and then we're gonna take it and roll it up like a jelly roll cake style, just roll it up. And then we're gonna want our seam on the bottom. We are gonna take our ends and just tuck them under. And we've got a nice little loaf of French bread. Now we're gonna repeat that step with our other loaf. All right, we're gonna, we've got our loaves formed. We're gonna take a parchment lined or you can grease a cookie sheet and we're gonna lay our loaves of bread right on there. We're going to take a knife and we're just gonna make three little diagonal cuts about a quarter inch deep into the dough. We're ready then. Before we put it in the oven, we are going to put an egg wash on it. And in here, I just have one egg white and about a tablespoon of water. Mix that up really good. And then we're just gonna brush that all over our bread to give it that nice, shiny, golden coating we like. 
We're going to take a clean towel, lay it over the top of it, and let it rise for about 20 to 30 minutes. So it's been about 30 minutes, and we've let our bread rise. Look how pretty. Now for that secret that I promised you, that secret that's going to give you a nice crunchy crust on the outside and a nice soft bread on the inside. We have preheated our oven to 300 degrees, and in a oven safe pan of some kind, I have boiled some water. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on the bottom shelf of the oven underneath where we're gonna put the bread, put our bread in, and it is gonna create a nice warm steam bath for our bread to rise in. But as soon as we put the bread in, we're gonna turn off the oven and let it sit in there and continue to rise and start to bake for 20 minutes. All right, our bread is out of the oven. Can I just tell you how amazing it smells? It smells so good. Now, I like to let the bread cool a little bit before slicing it, and I have let it do that. But sometimes I just can't resist, and I just slice into it when it's nice and hot. So I'm gonna take my knife. We're gonna slice ourselves a piece, nice and soft on the inside. We are gonna add a little butter. It's <laughs> so good. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. You can find the recipe for this easy French bread in the description down below. And make sure you click over here to check out some of my other recipe videos here on YouTube. And I'll see you in the kitchen next week.